members of uh, for the state and uh, all the protocols observed here with our senior elder mine uh, commander honorable we want to make several things as clear as possible from now so that the anxious nation can get the gist of this meeting building bridges initiative uh, a task force that was uh, appointed by the president has already finished the report and that report has not been handed over to his excellency the president and right honorable the prime minister Raila Odinga we want to warn those who are casting aspersions those who have already read it in their delusional mind and already advising Kenyans on what to do about it we want to tell them their, their days are numbered when history is forming many people fall wayside and I'm sorry that uh, this has started with unfortunate few members of parliament who are already warning Kenyans of what is contained in the building bridges. Honest Kenyans, mothers and fathers, young people of Kenya who want to see a new country, we assure you here, right at the seat of power, the report is not yet out. And the report will be released, launched in a grand plan where the president, the prime minister former, and all the leaders of this country shall gather and launch it for all to see. This report is not to be kept in the shelves. We as young people from uh, all political parties and caucuses, and especially our brothers from ODM here, we have decided to first deliver the seat of Kibra constituency to the candidate of Hardship. And that candidate is none other but Bernard Otieno Okoth, who will be facing electorate on 7th of November. That is next week on Thursday. And we are urging all and sundry to support this cause because we have decided to soil our hands and we have gone straight into the constituency. We have been campaigning. And we want to tell you that the state is strong. Kibra is already decided. We are waiting for the vote count. And uh, Imran will win. That's the gist of our meeting here. We want to assure the Kenyans that Kibra shall remain an ODM zone shall remain uh, uh, right on Raila Odinga's base, and he's going to win. All the machines of propaganda that have been unleashed by agents of impunity in this country shall be defeated. And we assure you, this is not uh, a gimmicks and uh, games of play. They shall be defeated. Kenya is new today. ODM and Jubilee and other parties can today eat together, meet together, talk together and plan for this country together. What a country that, that, that we asked God for. But there are few people who are not happy because the coming together of Right Honorable Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta has killed careers of tribal bigots. They have nowhere to run. And if they run, they have nowhere to hide. And when they hide, they have nowhere to escape. These are the people we are coming to declare their barrier today. And this handshake, the BBI Task Force report launching, shall be the strongest indicator of a new Kenya. Remember, countries that have gone down and come up have become the best in Africa. We don't talk of Rwanda, we don't talk of Angola, we don't talk of other countries. But Kenya is now going into rebirth. These young people here, as you see, guided by our fathers uh, politically, have learned the art of renewal. You would remember that when we were coming together last year, 2018, March 9th, they had a lot of acrimony Bloodshed was not a new talk, and we had met together to wage war as young people. But they sat together, Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta, and they decided this must not happen. This is why I encourage the millions and millions of young people from Kisumu to Moranga, from Trokana to Balambala, to Mandera all the way down to Kilifi, to come together and celebrate a new country, a new Kenya that has been born through this. So the report is not out. It's coming out, and we are waiting for it. It will get us here, and we shall celebrate the birth of a new country. Therefore, we wanted to submit ourselves unto the talk and guidance of the principals who appointed the 14 members and the joint secretaries so that they can lead us into the future they have seen. We only stand in the shoulders of the heroes of the past, and those heroes are about to launch a new Kenya. Therefore, our coming together today is nothing else but renewal of hope to all young people across the country so that they can be sure the country is coming back to where it was. Singapore, Malaysia will be a history of the past. We shall be Kenya setting trend on ourselves for the rest of Africa and the world to learn. Therefore, members of the press, I want to thank you for coming here.